Well, I went ahead and I put a KFM4 on the Blackjack 21. You can see right here, right there. Uh, I also ended up extending the wing tips, or the, the whole wing all together. The wing rode about two inches here. The wing tips about an inch over here, uh, just to get a little bit more lift out of it. All right, so uh, I just got to wait for somebody to show up and film this thing. Uh, otherwise, it'd be good to go. I got to probably find the new center of gravity because you know the wing is now longer. It still got the 21 21 inch wingspan because I wanted to keep the uh, the theme. All right, here we are back from the field, and good news and bad news. Good news is, you know, the maiden with the uh, the KF4. Um, went really well. In fact, this thing flew spectacularly. Uh, it just had a little bit of a lift, so I just clicked one, uh, clicked one time down on the uh, on the elevator, and it was it was all trimmed out. Um, the bad news is that it was not on film because didn't get anyone out there to uh, to uh, to run the camera. All right. So a quick review, you know. Center of gravity now is two inches back from the leading edge of the wing, right here. Right. And that seemed to be the sweet spot. Um, it felt like it was on rails, you know, so... Uh, I mean, it was locked in. Uh, and it felt really comfortable in flying it. So, uh, the bad news is that I need a larger motor now. It felt like it ran a little slow. Uh, and I don't know, I think it's, it felt slow only because I had so much more control. In fact, I even reset my um, uh, my exponential. It was 30% uh, with the roll and 20% uh, with the elevator. And, you know, I got rid of all my exponential. Then back here, of course, my uh, my Lucky 7 Elevons. You know, you can still see their Lucky 7s. They're just a lot shorter now. And... Uh, you know, flew much better with a lot less control surface. Um, it wasn't blocking it out as much and it was still pretty responsive. You know, other power options I was considering would be potentially, you know, I can, I think I can get a ducted fan to go right up into here and these little elevons would still be able to fit like uh, right inside a thrust tube uh, if I if I was to get one that, that, went, that ran right along here. You know, so here's the question for everyone out there now. Um, now that all the bad flying characteristics have been resolved on this plane, what can I do to replace this guy over here? All right, any suggestions will be welcome. The biggest slot I can fit in here, or the biggest prop I can fit in here, is a 5.5. I really don't want to cut the slot out. If I have to, maybe I I will.